Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. Hello any new people. This is the Honor Magic Watch 2. Um, you get in the box, just to show you very quickly, you get um, a USB cable. Let's have a quick look at this to see whether it's USB-A. So we have USB-A to USB-C, which is quite handy. I have tons of those, so I really don't need that. You also have in the box some leaflet there. Um, very exciting. You also have the charging thing, which literally attaches. And as you can see, do that again. It's pretty magnetic and literally just boom. And you plug your USB-C in there, which is quite handy. Now let's take a look at the strap. does have here the quick release mechanisms which is pretty handy and that means you can replace this I'm not so keen on the plastic strap and I would like a leather so you can get any number of different straps or even just get a normal watch strap and with a few cheap tools that you can get you can buy those this does have two things here on the strap to help and if you notice just going inside which way around are we looking um, not on that piece but on the second one there is a little nib here which stops the strap coming loose helps keep the strap coming loose so obviously when you tighten this like so and you put it in these things can normally work loose but if you have this one here over the, a particular hole in the strap, that does help keep it even more stable whilst on your wrist. In terms of uh, functions, let's run through all the watch faces and everything else. So there's obviously shows you the date, shows you your heart rate. Um, this one here, you've got VO2 max, time, steps, cloud, and around the side here, there's even more information as well. But let's just scroll up so it will show you the messages here. You also have the settings, and you just have this one screen in settings here, and it shows you the battery, the date, alarm, fine phone, and the settings. You've got uh, earbuds, so you can actually have. Um, different earbuds let's just go there on the display you can have the watch faces brightness so it's got auto brightness or you can select the level as well so let's just show so if I put level 5 you can see that's a bit brighter but auto is quite clever it manages the brightness as you need in the advanced screen you can have sleep so it's got auto um, but you can have the turn off let's just put that for 20 seconds for this review um, screen and screen on time um, so it shows you the various options here um, watch face standby so you can actually choose the style of a watch whether you want digital or analog so let's put digital um, so that shows you but if you have this always on display it will actually with the watch face um, you know affect the battery life let's put green let's just come back and we'll just let that switch off for a second so you can see what that looks like when it goes off and this watch does have um, various other features uh, of course I've just done the um, let's just do where are we display advanced uh, sleep let's do 10 seconds yeah that's fine so that will go to, to go power off in a second and I want to show you what the always on watch face looks like and there you go so this is the digital always on and as you can see it looks pretty nice and that will stay on for five minutes. But obviously having this on makes a huge difference to the, um, to the battery life. Under normal circumstances, 
the battery can last up to 14 days. It does have the new Kieran uh, chipset as well, the Kieran A1. And this is a 46 millimeter um, watch. It's quite good value because it's a fitness device. This you know, retails for around about 160 pounds. Um, I will leave a link down below because the price may vary. There might be a few deals on, so it's worth having a look. I do think you get a lot of watch for your money. Um, there are 15 fitness modes in here as well, um, both indoor and outdoor. And there's also, um, it links to the app, which is pretty good. And it's a lovely 1.39 inch uh, dis AMOLED display. I mean, it's quite amazing what we get for all this. Um, and you say it can do messages from uh, text messages, emails and calendar and they're just displayed. You don't really have um, an ability to reply to them. It does do sleep tracking as well and it can precisely track and diagnose six common types of sleep disorders um, and does have some suggestions as well. It is uh, water resistance up to 50 meters so you can swim in this. So let's just go and look through some of the other options that you get. So when you press the bottom button here, you've got running courses and there's 13. Let's have a look at those. So primary, easy run, fat burning. And you can see all the different types of options that you have. Um, let's go back. No, 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 no. Right. So... Uh, outdoor run, indoor run, outdoor walk, indoor walk, outdoor cycle, indoor cycle, pool swim, open water, climbing, hiking, trail run, triathlon, elliptical, rower and other. And then in each one you can have the different settings that you can change and they'll vary depending on what you've got. And they are all the options there. Now obviously you've got uh, different screens here from your heart rate. Um, and it does stress. Um, Bluetooth not turned at the moment. It does have Alipay if you're in that area. Music, control your music, overall fitness. But what you can also do, it just. You can press down and change the watch faces. So let's go and check the watch faces. So here, this would pick up uh, photos from your gallery and you can have those displaying on the screen and you get a little vibration each time you do this this is the clear watch face so you can see your heart rate battery fitness weather um, and then you've got the usual screens that come through on that let's just do this one then you have vitals so in this one here you can see all the different options that you get and it's uh, i quite like this one I'm not sure whether I prefer this particular watch face or the, the one that comes as default. Let's just, you can do this on the settings as well. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it from the settings. It's be a lot easier. So, vitals, airstream, very simple, very uncluttered, very nice looking uh, option. Let's see if I can do it, press it down. It's quite sensitive on that press down. Up and close, so again, shows your heart rate, shows your steps, and again, that looks quite nice. Nice, big, and bold. Whimsical, don't like this one, but you might. So, yep. And spotlight, again, unusual, not my favourite. I prefer the, some of the other ones we've seen already. Dashing. Quite like this because it's got the analog hands as well as all the other um, options here. I don't know if you noticed, but um, that one looks lopsided. That's odd. That no, shouldn't be like that. Geo. Um, ugh, ugh. Why would you have that as a watch face? Um, still. Yeah, do like this. Quite enough There's enough information on this one. It's pretty nice. Then, a um, bit odd. Not my favourite one at all. Um, 
and that is the last one. But the one, my favourite one of all of them, hang on, is without a shadow of doubt the very first one, the Expedition. I think this watch face is really nice. It's the default one that comes with the actual phone. Yeah, so personally, I, I prefer this one um, and a few of the others. As I say, as a watch, you do get sleep tracking. You can swim in it. It is a nice fitness device. And all in all, I don't think you can go wrong if you want something that's pretty cost effective. So it is quite a, a chunky size one. I don't personally like this plastic strap. I think if you're going to use something where you want to sleep track, you might want to get a more breathable design. But there are so many different types of watch straps that you can buy on Amazon and whatnot, so or eBay. Um, but there you go. Any questions on this, give us a shout. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.